Good job. Why would you miss tonight? Good job, yeah. Yes, tonight is another good All these daffim are uh, good. Where we leave off? Are we left off halfway on the up, up the bottom? Up the... Shmuel Dov, do you like if I repeat a mice that I said by Shmuel? Because you're the only person, <laughs> the person here. Usually you don't ask. Oh, am I asking you now before this year starts? Sure, I loved it the first time. Go for it. Okay, fine. Go ahead. You saying it or you're not saying it? Oh, I was just, you know, I was just in general, I was asking him. Not about about the the iron you're talking about with Siakam. I don't know if you know the mice, you know the mice with uh, Rothschild and the Nitziv. Oh, you know, you when the so when he made the first uh, vineyards okay. in Zichron Yaakov, the Rothschild, so the first crop, the first bottle from the first crop, Rothschild said not to send it to him in Europe. He said, send it to the Nitziv. They sent it to the Nitziv, the first bottle of Yain produced in Eretz Yisrael by, by Yidin, who knows how long, sent it to the Nitziv. They came to him with the bottle. It was during the week. He went to the closet, put on his Shabbos them, and he made a bracha in Shabbos them. Where? Where? Taka? Yeah. yeah. That's pretty wild. Who's that I mean, you're saying Taka. I there. <laughs> it's just the mice say here. Okay. Uh, I, have a say. Quick, I have a quick question before we start. Yeah. So Aaron, uh, I was talking to Aaron today. Uh, he mentioned uh, that uh, he, if he remembers correctly, I wanted to check that the uh, he remembers you saying a few years ago that Rabbi Elashiv said that there's no difference between Yai Mavushal and Nan Yai Mavushal as far as anything yeah. these days. Is that true? Yeah. He didn't know. He wasn't. So then you don't need Yai Mavushal for, for the non, non Mavushal for the Seder? Well, if you want to go, if you want to take their Khumra and spin it around to a cooler, then yeah. Explain yeah. that, please. Why don't you what try and figure it out? Spinata Khumra. They're saying it I as just, a Khumra. They're saying it as a Khumra. To use non Mavushal. No, they hold that our Mavushal is not properly Mavushal. Uh huh. So it's okay, not a Mavushal. So fear us, yeah. Well, it doesn't mess up the wine. That's what I'm saying. Right, so it's not a Mavushal. It doesn't mess it up. Our Mavushal wine is not, not really Mavushal. Mavushal. Which means right. it shouldn't be open around the guy anyway. Correct. That's the right. Khumra. Okay. So, could, but, so now turn the tables, and then by the Seder, when... It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you're using Mavush or not Mavush, because it's not really Mavush anyway. That's right. right. That's, that's making it into a Kula. Uh-huh. Okay. And that's just Rabbi Elashiv, or all the people hold that? Rabbi Elashiv and Shema Uh-huh. But don't... Nobody goes with it. Nobody goes with it. So you should still get non for the no I don't know. You do whatever you want. Okay. I would think, especially with people getting together with family members that might not be the firmest, non mavushal would be better anyway. I mean, no, a mavushal would be better anyway. Yeah, but they're saying that the the Rebbe Yashem held that that our mavushal is not mavushal. That's two against a lot. So at yes, least you're no, covered by true. the lot. That's true. That is true. Is it because is it because the flesh the flesh boiling yeah. or whatever that is? The flesh, really yeah, they hold that the flesh pasteurization is not anything. So the same thing with flesh freezing is also probably not anything. As well, what's that right? in to? Oh, fish. I'm saying, what's the flesh freezing? No, I don't know. Come on, you Anything. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm muting. I'm muting. I'm sorry. We mean flash freezing from a culinary perspective doesn't destroy the fish, you're saying? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Okay, let's go. Ready? Flash freezing is supposed to just preserve the freshness. That's all. That's don't all they it's supposed to, to do. Don't they have to freeze things before they, otherwise the fish, even sushi? Parasites. Parasites. Worms. Yeah. 
No, I'm saying don't they do it? I thought it's I thought it's for disease. Yeah, there, there's no such thing as there, there's no such thing as fresh fresh sushi fish that's actually you know straight from the ocean to the plate type of thing. All right, All right let's go. We've got a lot to do. Um, I think tonight is is the is yard side, first yard side of Nachi Feldheim. I think it was. I was in yeshiva tonight. Yeah, they haven't oh, sued there. Yeah. yeah, I was supposed to go, but I, I'm afraid to. Whatever. So they you were there for the suda. I was there for ten minutes. Me and me and Dave Lachman, the only two people in the whole room that had mass on. So I left I after ten minutes. Minute after seeing the Almana and Yitzi, I left. Right. I hear. Anyway, so his neshama is over Aliyah. Amen. And a Rafu Shalema for uh, Shmuley. Yeah. Amen. Okay. So now, yesterday we left off with a Machlaik is Rosh and we're, we're halfway down Kufala from a base. So yesterday we left off with a Machlaik is a very Yisaitis Dika Machlaik is between Rav Sheshis and Rav Chista. Right? Rav Chista holds that anything that you'd be required to go home to make a Bracha on, which is basically bread or anything that requires Allah Michya, so anything that you're required to go back, so therefore you don't need to make a bracha when you change places. Rav Sheshis disagrees, and he says that any whichever way you go, and whichever it doesn't make a difference what type of food. Once you move locations, then you have to make a new bracha, regardless whether it's hamaytzi, alamichya, baran fashas, whatever it is. So the Gemara asks, Meisve, bnei chabur shayim mesubin lishdai. So the bnei chabur was were sitting to drink. And, and they were aikr their feet. Lot says likras chasan and likras kala. And we're going to see in a minute that akru is very important because akru means that they were sitting in a set situation that they had to uproot themselves. Meaning if they were just drinking, what's that called? Uprooting themselves. Right? So the akru like lay lot says likras chasan and likras kala. So kishen yaitzin ain't tight in bracha lamafreya. When they go out, then they don't need, you don't need a bracha lemafreya, meaning, what does lemafreya mean? You don't need a bracha achreina. In Kishayin Chayzer, and ain't tuned in bracha lechatchila. And when they come back from wherever it is that they went, I mean, they went to go to a chasana, then they don't need a bracha lechatchila. I mean, they don't need a bracha in the beginning. That's only if they left a zaken or chayla, meaning somebody that stayed back, so somebody was still sitting at their table. But if they didn't leave anybody at the meal, when they leave, they need a bracha lemafreya, meaning they need a bracha achreina. And when they come back, they don't need a bracha lechatchila. Right? So now what's the kasha? And this that we said, that they had to uproot their feet. We're clearly talking about foods that are going to require a bracha achreina in the place that you ate. Right? Otherwise, what would be the term akru, that they uprooted themselves? When you uproot yourselves, you're uprooting yourselves from a place that you're stuck at, which is that means you have to go back there to make bracha achreina. The time of the nichu shum zakin achreina, and the only reason why they don't have to make the bracha achreina is because they left the zakin or achreina there. Kishen yaitzin ain't tain and ain't tuun in bracha lemafreya. Kishen chayzin ain't tuun in bracha lechila. Right? That when they go out, they don't need a bracha achreina, and they don't need a bracha first either. But if they didn't leave a zakin or a chayla there, so now then what's the din? When they come back, they're going to eat a bracha l'mafreya. When they come back, they're going to eat a bracha l'mafreya. So it's a bracha l'mafreya. Kasha l'rav chista. So it's a kasha l'rav chista. The Gemara is very much marich in this kasha. I'm not complaining, but uh, I think the Gemara could phrase this question with a lot less words. But uh, again, no complaining when the Gemara is marach to make it understandable. Right? Right. But the point is, at the end of the day, the Gemara is saying that the only reason why they, they didn't have to make a bracha is because they left somebody at the table. If they Does didn't leave somebody that... at the table, then they would have to make a bracha chronos. That's a kasha of chis and it's a riot of sheshes. What are you leaving saying? Somebody at, leaving somebody at the table, meaning that they're coming back to that spot to, to continue the suda, or yes. just I'm leaving somebody in the house? I, mean, uh, I understood it at the table. Uh-huh. Why? Which means that their suit is not over. Meaning, like, there's something right. It's right. Right. The meaning you, right. That's, that's why. Because they let, meaning, so, why does it have to be a duck or a hola? Why isn't it just No, I think it just sitting? means everybody else would go out to the wedding. Because everybody's supposed uh-huh. to get up and dance for the chas and kawa. 
That's what. Let's say I don't like the chasun of the kala. Then let's don't come to the chasun. If you come to the chasun, you have to. Exactly. Let's say I wasn't, let's <laughs> wasn't invited. Am I considered a zakin or a kola? No, you're not at the chasun. Why, why exactly. you so, but I'm By the way, you don't have to be. That's what I'm asking. Is it specific? Well, worry, you don't have to be invited to a chasana to go. The Allah is if you right. see a chasana, you got to stop what you're doing, go to the chasana. Chasana If I'm uninvited, if I'm Chasana Levaya, whatever comparisons anybody okay. wants to make okay. with that. But what do you say? <laughs> no, I'm saying there's not that. So, so I'm on you. Why does the Gemara say, why does the Gemara have to say Zakhan or Chola specifically as opposed to anyway? You're saying because you're they wouldn't have gone to a Chasana. No, yeah, because no, they're at a Chasana. Then no, the, you're the, the Muslim Kala walked there, so they went uh, out. You're saying they're up? Oh, okay, got it. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Either one. I, I thought it was just not going to call it because that's what happens. I, now, let me tell you the way it happens by me in my house. Okay. We go to a lot of times in the summer. So we'll start the Suda. We'll dive in Mincha early. We'll start the Suda and then we'll leave for Myra in the middle of the Suda to the, to the late Myra because we don't want to do early Shabbos. Right. Sort of. It's not. It's yeah. We, it came up uh, before the Suda, whether that's allowed or not allowed. But that's what we do. Yeah, so the What do you do? We start the Suda Friday night. When? Uh, probably Shkia time. You can't start it after Shkia because like, we're going to get to that Suda soon. But because once you, then you have to, the Chiyah of Meir. So we'll start by Licht Benchen, let's say. Right? The early Licht Benchen. What do you mean? It's no, the late Licht Benchen. Licht Benchen by the Shkia. Uh, 820. You mean if it's 8 820, whatever <laughs> like that. We'll, we'll make Kiddush and eat Hamaytzi and eat the first course. Right? And then we'll go to Meir. And then we'll come back and finish the Suda. Like this, it's a quasi early Shabbos. There's no half sick. Oh, so exactly. That's what so we're talking that's about. Right. So that's so the Maisa, it's, it's not it's not a lichatrila to do that. But the Maisa, the women stay back. Right? The women stay back. So Mamela, the place you're Are they the Canaan or the Highland? So I, I I don't know what they are. I don't know. Because why here didn't they say the women? Because it was a chasana. Right? I guess. Whatever it is, but that's what we do. That's that's what we do a lot of times. You don't do that out Slavoch, you're doing because it's more convenient. Out, well, what? To leave the ladies there? No, why wouldn't you make early Shabbos? No, it's because no, we watch Davin Meyer. First of all, it comes from a few things. It comes from A, not wanting to Davin Meyer me by Yom. That's A. But really, we can't get our act together to be ready for Shabbos by early Shabbos. That's really. <laughs> So it's oh, a combination of practical and Allah. Is it better is it better to do it that way or the other way? Six thirty. No, because we don't want to dive in my Lamaisa, we don't want to dive in my early. That's how Abi that's how Bialashiv did it, right? I don't Abiyashiv know. did early Shabbos. I don't know. So wait, so you say no Kabbalah Shabbos or you don't say Kabbalah Shabbos? That's a private matter, whatever anybody yeah. wants to do. You anyway, call me later, I'll tell you, you what he does. <laughs> Wait, are you Paris Mappa when you come back or you're not Paris Mappa? No, we don't have to because we've already made Kiddish. We make Kiddish. The gra, the gra doesn't like it. The gra holds you have to be Makadish. You first have to do Kiddish and Tefillah and then, then Alakois. You can't you be Makadish and Alakois. But there's a Furukai you... too because we Yaitza. The Noshim are also Chai with their eyes and so are the men when we do it this way. So there's a real Furukai that way too. When you come home, and say good, when you come home and you say good Shabbos, and they say good Shabbos too, they say that they're right also. That's not so posh that saying. That's what Kibayga said. You know, or the Morgan Avraham. I don't remember who it was, but yeah. What do we do? Vayichu? No, Vayichu is by regular uh, Myra. We do it. Okay, whatever it is. Bottom line is, is the halach is that if you leave somebody there, for sure it works. But that's not what the point of the Gemara here is asking. The Gemara here is asking that he, the only reason why they were moderate is because they left somebody there. Mashma, if they didn't leave somebody there. And it was a Hamaitzi, it was a Suda, they would have made you make new brachas. So that's a Mariah to Rav Sheshis. So I'm a Rav Nachum Bar Yitzchak. Now we're on Tom Aleph. Man Tana Akiras. Who's the Tana that says that you need um, that they were Iker themselves? Right? Rav Yehuda. It's Rav Yehuda, the Tanya. Chaverim, Shahi Masubin. If they were Chaverim that were, that were eating together, Vakar, Raglay, and Lelech, Lebes Aknesa, Lebes Amerish. And they got up to go to the Shul. Right? When they leave, they don't need to make a bracha, a bracha achra. They don't need a bracha lechatchila. That's only if they left mixtas chaverim. See, here it changes. It doesn't say zakan chayl. 
But if they didn't leave mitzvahs chaverim, kishen yoytzin tun and bracha lemafreya, when they go out, they don't need. They, they're, I'm sorry. When they go, if they left nobody there, then they're going to need bracha lemafreya, kishen chayzin tun and bracha lechatchilu. They're going to need a bracha lechatchilu. So the bottom line is, the Gemara is saying this is going according to Rabbi Yehuda, but Rav Chista paskins like the like the Tanakama, right? So Mamela, he doesn't require people to to be there. So that's basically. There's no kasha. Basically, what the Gemara is answering is Rav Chista. You can't ask a kasha from the Brisa because Rav Chista doesn't go like that Brisa. He goes like the Rabbanon, and that Brisa is like Rabbi Yehuda. Five, this Brisa of Rabbi Yehuda is, is mamish your Friday night. Yeah, that's mom. Yeah, it's exactly. It, yeah, that's, this one is is mamish yours. There's no kasha. Yeah, kasi. yeah right. it doesn't say it quite loads up. Correct. Yeah, and Ochanami, right. Right. So that's Yvaiter. So Ella, time of the Bidivarim, Adunam Rach Lachrebe Mekaiman. Right, that, so the reason why things that require brachas in their place, that when they leave, they don't need a bracha achrayna. But anything that does not need a bracha in its place, meaning bar nefashas, right? If you forget to make a bar nefashas, right? So you can make it right where you are. Even according to Rabbanon, when you leave, you need a bracha achrayin. Okay, shein chayzer tuun a bracha lechatchila, and when you come back, you need a bracha lechatchila. <coughs> Excuse me. Leiv atavit tiyufta to Rabbi Yochana. So let's say that this is the kasha. Let's say it's the kasha on on Rabbi Yochana, right? Because Rabbi Yochana before said that you do that uh, that you don't need any shini makom doesn't need a bracha. So Gemara says v'la mi yosvino chadizim. We're already shlugged up, Rabbi Yochana. Why are we why are we worried about slugging them up again? So Gemara says, name a mehonami to have the No, we have another kasha of Yoichanon. Right? Meaning just because we slugged them up once doesn't mean we can't ask more kashas on them. So I'm like Rabbi Yoichanon. So Rabbi Yoichanon said, No, who I did a filu dvarm shain to no bracha lacharim be mekayim and nami and suyichan levara. The same halacha would be even with things that don't require a bracha. Also, don't you don't need to make a bracha. Father Katani Akru Raglayan said, Why are you saying the Lashon of Akru Raglayan, which sounds like it's something that is Pircha Samaz and Ralam Mechia? Like the Achakaikhad Rabbi Huda to tell you the Kaikh Rabbi Huda, the Afilu Dvarm Shatun and Brachal Achraim and Mekaiman, even something that requires you to come back, Taima de Nichu Mixas Haverim. That's only because you left some people there. Avaloya Nichu Mixas Haverim, but if you didn't leave anybody there, Kishen Yaitzin, Tun and Brachal Mafreya. When they leave, they need a bracha lemafreya. Kashein chayzer into an bracha lechatchila. When they come back, they need a bracha lechatchila. Right? Um, fine. So that's so then. Okay. So then, Rabbi Yechonon has a teretz. Tani kavasi. This, this. Yeah. This this gemara says mantana akirus. It's a fascinating idea. It's like making a hackish for the brisa. We found this word Akiris in another Brisa, and that was Rabbi Yehuda. So Mamela, this one that says Akiris is also Rabbi Yehuda. Very good. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, no, I don't, you mean once you're making like a tzushtel to the word Akiris? Uh, yeah. Like a smithus, what is this? In a Brisa. Right. right. Who else right. would it be? The Rabbanon clearly, the Tanakhama clearly is Chaylik. Right. Yeah, you don't need the word Akira for that. Who else would it be? It can't be the Tanakama. Who else is the Tana of that Bryce, though? Yeah, but that's the reason I would have given. Gemara says, Mantana Akiris. How do we know it's for you? Akira's Akira's. I don't think it means that Mantana, it just means who's the one who holds that when you're Iker, it means the idea. When you're Iker, you're right. you're required to repeat the bracha. Yeah, it doesn't mean the word Akiras. It's not literal. Well, it's sound. I mean, okay, yeah, you don't I hear, need to I, say that. You're both stunned. I mean, I'm you're asking you a question, the question, the Tanya. I don't need to say that, but that's what the Gemara is trying to do. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm not arguing with that. I'm just saying it's an interesting way of doing it. The Montana right. Akiras is superfluous. It can't be anyone else because the content of the brisa is Rabbi Huda. But you don't need the Mantana Akiris for that because it's obviously. The Gemara is just pointing out. The Gemara is saying it's Rabbi Huda, and there's another sheet that's chayluk on him. So it's not a kasha 
on Rabbi uh, on, on Rabbi I, or the Gemara is saying that there's other Tanoim besides for for Yehuda that are that are chayel can hold that you could, you don't need to make a bracha. Well, we know that from our Mishnah. There's another Tana. We have a stira basically between our Mishnah and the and the first price. So that's what the Gemara asks, and the Gemara Mamel answers, "Ma Tana Kiris or Yehuda." Who's the time of this first, this price, the original price? It's Rabbi Huda, but the Mantana Akiris is a little bit. Yeah. Different. I hear. I hear. I you know. Okay, so let's, uh, yeah, let's go back. Okay, so how do we pass in? Oh, one second. Tani Kavase, the Rav Chista, Chaveirim Shoy Mesubin Lishtes Yayin. If you have a bunch of friends sitting to drink Yayin, Vakru Raglayin, the Chazru, and they went left and they came back, ain't Srikhan Levarach, they don't need to bench. Right? So, so that's now we have a bris so just like Rav Chista. So Lamaisa, how do we paskin? So of course it's a machlokes mechaber ramos svarim ashkenazim. The mechaber paskins like Rav Sheshis that you need to leave people there, and if you don't leave people there, even if it's an alamichya um, or birchas uh, amazin, you have to make a new brach. And the ramos choylik and says no. The ramos says, um, and if it's if it's uh, alamichya or or benching, then you don't need a new bracha. And um, if it's bar and you do need a bracha. Right? So that's it's basically a long party line, as we say. Yeah. Um, but the only thing is, um, it's if you're not Masih Das. If you're Masih Das, then it, then it's a problem. So the question is exactly what has das means. Right? Um, and also the Ramah says. That you should not leave your house on with the tonight that you're coming back. Meaning, let's say uh, you're in the middle of your Suda Friday night and your neighbor comes and says, Hey, let's go run to a Shalom Zoh. You say, Okay, what's the big deal? Like you come back and bench. So even the Ramah who says when you come back, you don't need to make new brachas, still says you shouldn't do a lachatrila because you might end up, you know, spending a lot of time with a Shalom Zoh, and then it's gonna um it's gonna pass. But he does say the Tzarek mitzvah, you could. So I don't know how you define a sort of mitzvah, like going to dive in the middle of a suda or this type of thing, right? Rosh Yaakov, right? Yeah. I don't want to get personal, but let's say in the case, the way somebody here makes Shabbos, let's say you come to shul and they have a chazan there, the guy is singing his kish, kish, kish <laughs> out, and you come home and you the, the ladies are sleeping. <laughs> yeah. Um, yes, and a chanami, it's an issue. It's an uh -huh. it, That would be an issue. Um, don't okay. worry, don't worry. We don't. We, we usually miss half of my riff too with this mahalach. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> We're certainly not there for the singing. That's for sure. <laughs> and and the Kisa of the women that were left behind allowed to daven my riff by themselves in the house, or are they still considered shaymim? It's not. I don't think it's a dinal shaymim. It's a dinal kvias. No. I, I, doesn't the Ramah use the word shaymim? I don't Somewhere. think so. I have it over here in front of me. Um, yeah, now also, another, no, I don't, I don't see it. Ah, uh, okay. But then, but also, the place can do say that if you're going to shift houses, let's say you want to go from one house, you know, like Purim, right? You want to start, you through the one house and continue in another house. So you have to, you're supposed to have that in mind when you wash to, to, to have it in mind. And also, you got to make sure that you have a kazayas of pas in the new house that you're going to, right? But if you have it in mind, then it's okay, but you gotta have a kazai as a pass. What, no, don't we do that? <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry. By Sheva Brachas also, right? If you, you somebody's, in, you know, your neighbor's inviting you to for the dessert for Sheva Brachas. Right, so that's just, so the you, same but thing. But you have to eat pasta or is enough with it's, it's, uh, it's I have in my notes that you have to, you're supposed to have pas. Oh, yeah, but I, I don't know. But I think that's a chumra. I, I don't. I didn't have a maramukum there, but uh, but uh, I would think mazayna should be enough. But okay. now, one second. According to Sfardim, they pronounce it pot, so they have to have pot when they go to the next. No. Oh, okay. very good. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that yeah. that Allah is from is the there? last album. Which Allah? Whether you need to eat pas or not. It's from Kufal yeah, yeah, from yeah, the yeah. base. Yeah. Rashbam, I think, says you need to eat pas. Yeah, that's what it. Oh, that's, yeah, now Gemara the Rashbam says pas. Yeah, yeah. Is there yeah. is there anything of bringing pas from where you started your suda to the next place where you're going? 
That's if you use the Arab, no? Right, if you use the Arab, right. <laughs> if the Arab and if you don't trust the cautious. No, Sam, I'm saying, is there something like it's better to take from like... I don't know. I never heard that stuff? you have to take the original pasta. I think it's any bread. I think it's any bread. Uh-huh. I, as far as I remember, I don't remember anybody that you have to bring, you have to bring your own pasta. Okay, let's see about it. Yeah, Torah Rabbanon. Bnei Chabura, Shoyim Subin. Now we're back to Paris Mapa Makadish. So yeah, Bnei Chabura, that they were eating together, Vekidish Leyen Hayyayim, and the day became Kaddish, and then Mavian like Koshal Yayin. So they bring him a Koshal Yayin, Vayim or Minigar, they're in the middle of a Suda Friday afternoon. Right, then it becomes Shabbos. So they bring a Koshal Yayin, Vayim or Allah Kiddush Hayyayim. On the first, you make Kiddish. And the second cup, you say, right? Because Rabbi Yehuda hold that right when Shkia comes, you have to, you have to, you're not allowed to eat until you make Kiddush. Which we said two blot ago also. You can eat and you, you don't have to stop eating. Right? Gamru. You know what I'm Gamru. Gamru, I'm sorry. When they finish the Suda, the first case you say, and then on the second case you do, right? So, again, both both sheets hold, you need two separate cases. You can't do both on one case, right? Rabbi Yehuda holds, first you have to make Kiddush, then you need another case of Birchazamazan. Rabbi Yossi holds, no, you don't have to stop your meal, you can continue. And you bench first on one kais, and then you make kiddish on another kais. Right? Um, fine. So the Gemara says, Amai v'nam rinu l'tavai v'achada kais. Why don't we say both on one kais? Why do you have to have two separate kaises? Right? Now, what's, is this kash on Rabbi Yaisi or Rabbi Yehuda? So the Rashbam says this kasha is going only according to Rabbi Yosef, because according to Rabbi Yehuda, of course you need two kashas. Right? Can you do that? Uh, are you allowed to use a shalashudas? Shalashudas, um, what do you call it? What am I asking? Oh, I'm sorry. The price for shalashudas on Abdullah. Shalashudas for Abdullah. That's what you're supposed to do. So why can't you do it over here? What do you mean? Why don't you... You said if you're benching, what was the question? You said if you're if you're if you're eating Arab Shabbos and then you want to you want to make Kiddush Friday night, you make right. So why can't you use the same price? No, so that's exactly what the Gemara is asking. That is the Gemara's question. Okay, sorry. Well, no, we're gonna see. No, no, it's good. We're gonna see the back and forth now in this in this summer. There's a lot of there's a lot of interesting case. Not a lot, but there are a few interesting cases that come out of this. No, I thought you said Listen. you can't. I was I was asking from Shalosh Shur. It's just like you can do it over there. Why can't you do it uh, over here? Um, am I not making sense? No, no, you're making sense. You're making sense. Um, well, let, let's let's learn the whole sugi and then we'll we'll oh, get to the. Oh, that's because according to Rabbi Yehuda, it's the other way around. Well, that's why the make kiddush is... first. What? You make kiddush first. You have to drink it. You may bring some Muslim first, then maybe you can make Kiddush after that. That's the Kashan Rabbi Yossi, according to the Shabbat. Correct, correct. According to Rabbi Yehuda, make Kiddush according first, to... you can't then bench, you have to drink the wine. Correct. According to Rabbi Yehuda, you need two Kashas, because you make Kiddush, you got to drink the wine. Right? Then you bench. So you need two Kashas for sure, according to Rabbi but according to Rabbi Yossi, you're benching first and then making Kiddush. Do a two-for-one deal. Right? That's the Kasha. Okay, let's see. I'm Ivan Emrin, Lutavai, or Chad Why don't we say both on one Kais? We don't say two kedushas and one kais. My timer. Because we don't bundle our mitzvahs together, right? Now, what does that mean? Rash, the Rashbam says chavilas chavilas means it looks like it's a masui, looks like it's a headache. Oh, we got two mitzvahs to do. One is birchas hamazon, one is kiddush. And let's just combine them like this. We'll get out of there faster. So why isn't that Chavilas Chavilas by, by Shalash? <laughs> by what? By Shalash Shuddhas. Isn't Chavilas Chavilas also? Using awesome. a bench, a la Kais, and now using for Abdullah. Right. So so thing is, right. No, so right. So that by Shalash Shuddhas is different. You're not you making butter. You're not right. You're not allowed to drink it. So you're only you're making one. Drinking it, but you're using it. Right. 
You only no there. It's not really a kais. You're not saying bari priya on both have on birchas amazin and avdala. There you're just you you're benching Allah kais, but you're not saying bari priya until later. Why is it a din in, in saying bari priya gofen? It's, it's a matter of what you're using it for. You're using it to bench no, Allah kais. See, I, 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 it's, 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 the separate you, you, in order to drink it, you got to make up bari priya gofen. You can't drink before, right. before you, uh, uh, until after Meir, until you say avdala. But you're using it for a mitzvah. You're benching out. It's it's for benching, right? right. So, but lemaisa, you're not making the bracha there. But let us see the whole sugi first, and then let's see. So he's answering because you don't make um, mitzvahs chavilas chavilas. The Gemara says v'loy no v'atanya hanichnas lebeisai b'matzei shabbos. Somebody comes home on matzei shabbos. Mevarich al hayayin. You make a bracha on the yayin v'ala ma'or and on the light, meaning on the uh, what do you call it? The esh. And then you say right? That's the order that we do it. And let's say a person only has one kois. He leaves it until after birchas amazon, right? And um, so and he, and he, when he little how do you touch mashalshin? Literally means from the he lowers it. Right, meaning you put everything till after Berchaz Amazon. So you see that you could do, Mike, right? This is, you see from here that you could, if you don't have, an, if you only have one case of wine, you combine the Berchaz Amazon together with the Avdala. Right? So when it answers, ain't loy shani. If he doesn't have, that's different. Since he doesn't have a choice, then you're allowed to. Right? But, but if you do have enough wine, so then it's allowed. So that's what I think is the Pshat. We, ain't loy, meaning... We're not supposed to drink before Avdala. So Mamela, we don't make the butter priya guffin, and therefore, uh, and therefore with that's that's Use. why that's what we do with Avdala by us. Right? Okay, so then the Gemara says, Well, Yomtif Shekhali is Akhara Shabbos Isli. But Yomtif that falls out after Shabbos, like like coming up in three weeks, Bez Hashem. Right? The Isle, where usually people have enough wine. Because for Yom for Yom Tif, right? Usually you make sure that you have enough wine. Farmer Rav Yakna and Rav says you make Yayin Kiddush Ner Havdala. That's the next major sugi that we're going to do, right? So you see, you're doing Havdala and Kiddush on the same. Why don't you have to make two separate kaisas? So Amri, so we say Medaloy Amar Zman, right? Since Lamaisa he didn't mention the bracha of Zman, Mechlal the Beshvisho Pesach. As you know, we're talking about. When the seventh day of Pesach falls out after Shabbos, the Komai Dahavale Ochele, he drank everything up already. But Leslie, and he doesn't have, and that's why. So that, but so, so it's the same terrors. So really, you would make separate, but here he ran out of wine at the end of Yom Tif. Oh, but for Yom Tif Risha and the Isle, but Yom Tif Risha, we said a person does have wine. Bam Rabbi Yak right? Yayin Kiddish Zman Ner Havdala. But Rav Omer Yakna has, right? This is what we're going to be doing in uh, three weeks, Bez Hashem, right? Yayin Kiddush Ner Avdallah's man. So you see that you do, you do combine them. Ella, so now the Gemara gives a different terrors. Ella, Havdallah and Kiddush Chadam Ilsi. Havdallah and Kiddush are one thing, right? Meaning, what are they coming for? They're coming for the Kedusha of Yom Tif. Why are you making Havdallah, Matish Shabbos? Because you're going. You're, you're saying that you're going from the Kedusha of Shabbos into either Chol or to Yom Tif. And why are you being Makadish Yom Tif? Because Yom Tif, we, we Makadish the day. So it's basically one and the same what you're doing. So therefore, you can combine them into one kois. Baruch Birchas Hamazan and Kiddush Trey Milin. But Birchas Hamazan and Kiddush are two total different mitzvahs. Since they're two total different mitzvahs, you can't combine them. Right? So that's, uh, so that's, what, it, that's what it is. So that's the maskana sadvarim that we don't combine, we don't combine mitzvahs. Okay, so now what's a major thing? Taisvis, taisvis, a major taisvis here. Shein Aimer Shtei Kedushas Al Koisecha. Third taisvis down. So what happens by a chasana? We can make two bari priya gafins, right? With again by a chasana, right before the chasan says I rayat mekudeshesli, that's kedushin, right? Then what used to be done a year later is the Sheva Brachas, that's Nesuin. 
So why don't we use the same kais? Why are the two brachas bar priya gafen? Because lachar, we don't want to do two different mitzvahs on one kais. Right? So that's what Taisa says. V'yesh na'yikin b'chubba mitam zeh sh'loi lamer sheva brachas al kais birchas hamazen. Hel mevi'in kais acher. I'm sorry, I was, I was jumping the gun from the Taisa. Taisa is first going the other way around. Right? Why do you have two kaisas for birchas hamazen and, and sheva brachas? Right? Everybody makes a sheva brachas. Right, I jumped the gun. I was going. I was going ahead. Of it. Right, but the ma'aseh, why is sheva brachas? You have two cups, right? One you do birchas hamazon on, and one you do sheva brachas. Right, so why? Feimer varchan al hasheni by Rebbe Gamma. Kivin shekvar berach al kais birchas hamazon. Kei nachal varach pamayim. But so there, you're not making two bari priya coffins, even though it's two separate kaisas, because you don't want to make the mitzvahs chavilas chavilas. Right, and then he brings then Tosis brings that they were that they're cholkin. Yeah, um, but then the Tysus at the end is Tysus brings that that's why we have two cups um, by the Kedushin and the Nesuin. But why then why do we read the Ksuba? The only reason why they read the Ksuba is to make right the Tysus at the end says, um, That's why they read the Ksuba in between the Kedushin and the Nesuin so that it should be a Hefsik that they shouldn't make two. Priya Guffins, one after the other. Right? Sort of base guys. So it comes out, of course. I should really should add this to my confusions list. Right? So by the Kedushin, by the Chupa, two cups of wine, two Bayer Priya Guffins. By Sheva Brachas, two cups of wine, two different mitzvahs, one Bayer Priya Guffin. Right? So that. Imagine an Amaretz who doesn't know, like, one second, what's going on over here? Why here two by ones? Why not? Good. So that's why they put the ksuba by the kid by the chupa in order to separate it. So it, so it looks a little bit it looks a little bit separate. So right. why is it okay? What, one more time. What, why is it okay to do the one coast of barpir guffin by shever brachos after bar, after birkas muslim? No, because he it says because we don't. You're talking about by regular shever brachos. Regular shever brachos. You have because it says a strange thing to make two bar priya guffins one after the other. I they in in Oisim right, mitzvah chavilos. So the question is: is the is the chavilos on the very very good then? Ah, very on, good. That, exactly, very good, very good. That's what Mike was getting out with the avdolos. Comes out seems that the chavilos chavilos is a din in the kais. That's not what a din. In, that's what I was saying. It's not right. A, exactly. Right. Exactly. That's exactly what you're saying. That and it seems do, like. Hmm. Yeah, that you could do one bar priya gofen on multiple kaisas, but. But you shouldn't do well. No, no, I'm sorry, Mike. The Havdal is the other way around. Memorial right. Shaki have the problem. Either right. you know, Mike's way you have a problem, it's Chavilas on the on the Kais. Either he's mine, it's Chavilas on the on the Brock. Why, but why stira. are we doing it? But why are we doing it? Not because we don't have a, a, a more wine, we're doing because of Al Spal Tashkas, right? I don't know which which one. Which? No, I think, I buy I think by, I buy by you're doing it by Shalashidus, you're doing it because you can't drink the kais because you're ready. So, so then why, you so why do you drink another? Why don't you pour another cup? What are you? Why are you using that? Well, no, say so how do you bench shalah kais birchas hamazon by shalashudis? Then you're not allowed to drink it. Right, you're not. You're not making bari per gofen. So you should make you a new drink kais. It is by havdala. No, so what then, Mike is saying, you should take a new kais and make havdala. Then what do you do with this kais? No, oh, he's okay. saying do like a Sheva Brachas, right? Then the Sheva Brachas, you start pouring the kaisas back. Ah, so you drink from both. You're making uh -huh. a... He's you saying, why don't both. you do that? I thought same we don't have both of those Kaisas. We should have it together. We should have two kaisas. The same way we have it by uh, Sheva Brachas. That's what Mike's asking. By Havdala, you should do the same thing. Let's do it. Right? We'll start doing the cups. There you go. You can have more alcohol, as if there wasn't enough already. Shabbos, have, you Shabbos, 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 if you have Shabbos Shabbos, it works out well, you know. Well, with Shabbos Shabbos, it's taka machlekes. What do the okay. chassan and kala drink? No, do the chassan and kala. That's a big tumul in the pais. In, in brisk, I think they did drink the chassan and kala after Shabbos Shabbos, but Shabbos Shabbos. But others don't because it's, they say it's no different. I don't know. I have to I'll look into that tonight. Believe me, tonight, tomorrow, hopefully, I have an answer. Okay, I guess we'll 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 uh, we could stop here. Fine. Okay. So tomorrow, Yeah. All right. I got the number. It must be the water in Florida. The guys were good. I'm in New York. Yeah, Florida. Must be the weather. I was trying. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you.
the din, the din that you have, if you don't, if you're not mafsik in your suda, is that considered? If you continue your suda, is that considered a, a what's it called? Uh, your first suda, or it doesn't, it's not considered your first suda on Shabbos. It's how the din shalosh suda. If you did what? If you were not mafsik in your suda, right? You make a, you make a, you make a guffin afterwards. According to that cheat day, you're able to, you don't have to be mafsik. Is that considered your first suda of shalosh suda? According to that cheat what do you mean? Like what I do? No, no. Let's say a person's made, made a suda Friday afternoon. He continues to suda. He makes birkas and muzzin on Shabbos, and then he makes and then he makes uh, and then he makes kiddush. Is that the, when he finished up his suda? He made a birkas and Is that considered your? You talking about the paris mappa makadish? You talking about paris mappa makadish? If you're not paris mappa, if you're not paris mappa, according to Shita, you don't have to be paris mappa. According to Rabbi Yossi, he's saying yes. So then you make, I mean, does that count as the Suda Shabbos? Right, because he's not being Paris Mappa. Is, it, is right. it enough for him to eat? Is it enough for him to eat, I guess, bread? If he ate bread, like his eyes are bread on that Shabbos, without being Paris Mappa, would that be considered having a Suda, even though he started on Friday I afternoon? I would think not. I would think not. But I'm not. I don't know. Well, how can that be? I don't know. I'm just asking because, like, I understand if you're Paris Mappa, you consider it because you're, you're Mafsik, but. According to Rabbi Yossi, there's no Indian who has sick. You don't need to be mastic. Yeah, but how can you call that a suda? I don't know. Maybe because you had a kazais. I don't know. Even if your part is mapa, you have to have a kazais, no? Right. Um, no. No. No? That's what's interesting. No. The part is mapa, you do not have to have a kazais. Uh -huh. Better to, but I don't think you have to. Interesting. So you're saying, Lechayr, if you're just continuing your Suda... Like, you don't even you have, have to say have Lecha Mishnah. Right. Do you have to say Ritzay at that point, according to Rabbi Yezid? Lechayr or not, right? No, only if you have a, only if you have a Kezayis Chala after night. Right. So that's what I'm asking. If you're having a Kezayis Chala at night, but you were in Paris Mapa, would that be enough to be considered as uh, Suda on Shabbos? I don't know. I'm not sure. Look at the Taisus in Rinu Lechavayu at that cost. Oh, you're right. I know it's somewhere here. Yeah. <coughs> I don't know why I missed that. There's a Rashbam. Tysus? There's the same thing, I think, also. Second Tice is down. On the Ahmed Bays, I'm an Alf. Ahmed Bays. I'm going to Kuf Bays, I'm a Bays. Oh. So the Gemara, he's saying the Gemara says that it's Ela Lela Suda Shabbos. Yeah. Did we talk say that? I don't remember saying that we were Suda Shabbos. I don't know. Did, uh... No, Tysus said it. Right, it wasn't the Gemara. Tysus said it. Tysus, Rabbi Yaisi, I'm Rain Mafsikin, and Daf Kufamid Aleph. It says Masha that you don't have to make a separate pseudo. Interesting. Oh, there. Yeah. Right? I don't know it's Yaakov. Yeah. If you're going to add this Shabbat Brothers thing to your list of confusions, you should add the Meiri. Yeah, the what? The Meiri on Birchus Erison. He asks, why do we say Sha'asar Lanu, Sarusus Lanu, Hitler Lanu, and the Suez Lanu, and the Akupa Vikidushin? It should be only day kiddush in the kopa. Right. So the Eri says because the mice, what we do today, the kopa comes before the kiddush. They what with the badek? According to him, yeah, no, by the well, he holds that going under the kopa. I mean, you go under the kopa. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's uh, like a sixteen way machlok is gushayim. What what misuin is? But uh, he holds it going under the kopa. So he holds memela since the misuin's first. We say only day kopa the kiddush. That's how he learns it. So I, I love to uh, uh, Tysus that says here that you read the Ksuba to be mafsik is a little it wouldn't work according to me read, but I hear. I hear. I hear. I, I don't know. I uh, yeah, I gotta work on my uh, question over here with the Abdullah. That that's what I'm 
That's what I'm about. I didn't mean to slug you up. Are you happy I came half hour, half hour late? I don't notice when you come when you don't come. <laughs> what about uh, what about by by share brachas? They have two two uh, two brachas first, the two first brachas. Making two brachas isn't that kabils kabils also? What do you mean? Because well, they give you butter priya goffin and people, and uh, right. yotzer other. Right. Some people. They the do. reason why they the reason why they do that is because it's a it's a pagam to give somebody just a bar- bracha butter priya goffin. That's well, all that comes from. Why is it a pagam? It's like, well, you know, you're making the butter priya goffin. You know, you really it's you being mevarich the chosin and the kal. So you're being a mechab the guy to make a butter priya goffin. You're not. He's not. He's not being mevarich the chosin and kal. He's done like, oh, we need to make a butter priya goffin. So uh, you, you, give, you get you 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 benching the you benching the chosin kal. Also, also, goffin. there's another. The kasha is the other way around. The kasha is the other way around. How can you split the brachas? That's actually in two blocks from now, Sugi. We're going to get to it. How can you split the brachas? Well, that's not today's stuff. Wedding. It's Some only Friday stuff. You see, you see, they do it different ways at different weddings. No, but I'm saying, but the really You're supposed to do it together. You know? No, the Sheva Brachas is one big mitzvah. You can't is it split it. Is Well, uh, there's I forgot, who, I forgot whose minute it is that they, that the one person does all the brachas. Well, that's they'll do that by rebbes. If rebbes are not Masada kedushin, they'll the last, some won't come unless they get all the brachas. All or none. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's because of this. The Chassidish, the, the Chassidish Island hold that the, the, the Sheva Brach is, is really the Brach that the Chassid is supposed to make. It's a Machalik Kizrushayin and Miksubis. Who the Brach, whose Brach it is. Correct. If it's the Chassid's Brach, it's very hard to split it up. How do you split it up? He's supposed to make it so you can make one Shlia. It's one Mitzvah. Whereas if the mitzvah is on the, the call to bench the chassan and kala, then the call gets the mitzvah finished. It doesn't matter how many times you split it. See, I, I, I got to tell you. Yeah. I hear. No, in a chanami, but that's that's all part of the tumult. Yeah. My, yeah, my what bro- are you saying? My brother-in-law told me a maisa that happened to him when he was in, uh, I think it was in Gush. I forgot by Shal Shudas. They had hundreds of people. I mean, it could be three, four hundred. I mean, hundreds of people. And his father came for Shabbos. And uh, his father learned by by uh, in Chaim Berlin. I mean, he was a Shiva guy when he was younger, but I guess he forgot a little bit. And he, he says he says to his son, "What's the minic here?" I guess he I don't know how he didn't know, but whatever. He says, "Do, do they make a bari pir guffin by Shalashudas?" I mean, obviously we don't, but I don't know. I guess he forgot. Whatever. So his son says, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." So he so he finishes benching, and then he, he starts to make a bari pir guffin. He says, "Hundreds of people said no." Nah, nah, like they made like a whole tumult, like you know, the guy was so embarrassed. <laughs> I don't know if he told his father on purpose, yes. I'm not, I'm not sure what it was, but he said it was like you're so embarrassed. Hundreds of people screaming, like you know, pouncing on him. Whatever. So is yeah. that why by the rebels they give the rebels the whole thing? They say all the brachas. Well, I don't know if it's a covered thing or it's because really it's brachas mukhalakavarta and you can't split it up. Right, but that, you, you there? Yeah, no, I I don't know. That's what I'm asking you. I always no, assume, that's... I always assume it was covered. That like, who? How can you ask the Rebbe to get down once he's saying brachas? But that 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 was based on nothing other than my assumption that you know. Yeah. No, I I, I thought it was a covered thing, but Lamaisa, it is schwer on the person making the bracha. I mean, we're going to have this in two blood. That's bracha smucha lechavrta. You don't need to start with a baruch and end with a baruch. So all these brachas of shev brachas are bracha smucha lechavrta, right? Like birchas hashachar. It's one after the other, right? Yeah. So that's why we do like different... kind of shama or something after ashiyot or something, right? What? Yeah, yeah. That's oh, yeah, that's yeah. that whole sugya. Yeah. Can I ask you a, a very quick question? Talking about brachas, avocado. Someone told me that if you eat an avocado like a, like a like an apple, you make a very prayer eight. So if you eat it chopped up like in your in your salad, make a dhamma. Do you ever hear such a thing? Or is that wouldn't it depend Again? on what kind of salad? No. One I'm second. Saying. You made what they're saying that if you eat it like an apple. Well, let me ask you a question. Let, let, ha, what brought you make an avocado? I have no idea. 
<laughs> Aren't you supposed to know these things? I don't know. I you know, you know what Rabbi Kanner like, says when he asked uh, ask Rabbi Kanner a question. You know what he says? He says, ask yeah. your modern local Orthodox rabbi and see what she says. Tiago, don't yeah. you have an auto text for Brachas? Yes, I send them to this guy, to the right. auto text guy. What do you, mean? What do you right make? What, what do you make on um, <laughs> avocados? I never ate avocado 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 in my eats. life. Come on, you never had sushi with avocados? I eats. I never I ate sushi. Avocado's a fruit. Come on, never, never eaten sushi? sushi. Never eaten sushi. If I buy you sushi, will you eat it? Heck no. <laughs> yeah, no yeah, fish. Yeah, this would be. It doesn't it have now shopping, already. Shopping. Mike, Mike. It doesn't Mike, have coffee. Mike, Mike. It now doesn't it's have already jiva. To have the, to, right, I right. get more geschmack out of telling people no that I never had sushi <laughs> than it's worth it to eat the sushi for free. I don't. I don't. I don't yeah, like. Now should, it's already, I don't like sushi. sushi. Now it's yeah, we should do that. We should do that one year. We should make you a suda with sushi, fancy wine, coffee. Get like all the stuff that you <laughs> get you it all out in one shot. It'd be a waste of his time. He won't touch it. I tell you about native Shekhianu. What really you should I make in? an avocado? And I'm waiting for the answer. They haven't answered back. I never, I've always made Adama. So I was like, what do you make? I ate. I said, what are you talking about? I got Adama. I said, no. If I, don't even, I have no idea how it grows. I have no idea. And a it lot of it grows on a tree. Grows on a tree. So it's does a it fruit. Avocado is a fruit. It's, it's and not a fruit. Vegetable. It's a fruit. It's a fruit. According to holiday, it's a fruit. A fruit. Do you want to hear such a thing that if you it depends how you eat it? No. If it's mixed Bracha into before, a big salad, according to lettuce, this, Bracha before, it's our eights and a burn of fushes. Yeah. It's the eights and a burn of fushes. That was my next question. Okay. We solved yeah. that. No, but I don't want to say if you chopped it up and put it to a salad, then it changes. It could uh, be a taco. Watch. No, they That's... said it was our dumb. I said, nah. I said it. I don't hear that. It could be that. Because you're making be the a on the other salad, yeah, so then maybe you popped her up the. Right. Meanwhile, I, meanwhile, I heard Rabbi, Rabbi Rosner say today, he said he he, he brought down from the Budraham the makar for shahakal. You ever hear this? He says vaguely the source of shahakal. Why don't we say bari shahakal? We say bari pradama, bari bari mizrach is bari this, bari that. Why don't we say bari shahakal? So he says, very interesting. We say shakal all the time. He says, but the source of the of the bracha, he says, we needed a bracha for 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 meat. He says, by my separatious, the 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 animals were not the the intentions of the Abrishta was, was not to for, for us to eat the meat. Just to say to say bayre shakal, that's not the reason it was created. So it's an in it's an improper usage of the word bayre. When the Abrishta created an apple, he he made he the intention was to eat it. Bayre per eights. He says, but by, by meat, there was no intention to eat the meat. It was only a heter after the marble. So therefore, he said, we need a bracha for meat. And that's the source that Budraham says for shahakal. You know, he has oh, a good thing. Okay. I hear. Wait, wait, wait. I never heard it. That's Regarding avocado, Rabbi Bodner yeah. says about avocado. He says, if it's cubed and mixed into salads <laughs> consisting mainly of Adama products, the Adama made of the, on the salad vegetables will exempt the avocado as well. That's, oh, okay. that that's what we borrow Shikivan. That, that's that's right. Yeah. That's that's a shot. So Gershon said. Yeah. So yeah. if it's in a salad, you make it on the other things and it but you don't make that dhamma on the actual avocado. Correct. Correct. Interesting. Interesting. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I think even according to Rabbi Bob, doesn't he say there? Only if it's it's mushy, if it stays cubed and it's visible, I just read it. it's supposed I just to make an eight first. That's it. I just read what he says. That's the whole thing. But doctor, what bracha do you make on on uh, according to your joke on what bracha do you make on pot? Uh, I don't know. Filos uh, haderech. No, that's an LSD. <laughs> right. Very good. You like that, Tiago? You like that? Very good. Very good. Question is, what's Very the bracha Yeah, bracha Yeah, I don't know if you're right to make a bracha after that. A gomel, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Zagazen. Yeah, a pleasure, everybody. Zagazen. Have a good night. Thank you. Nice.